hello you guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you're old here thanks for staying you guys do not forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below in case you've forgotten my name i am Zemi Serada. let's get into this video in today's video we're not doing our usual storytelling we're not doing our usual the vlog thing i'm actually here to vent because i've had it up to here with some things that are wrong with the world and i don't think it's okay anymore <laughs> not nobody should ever have to live that kind of life okay so did you guys hear maybe some of you still don't read the news or some of you do or did you guys hear of the shooting of eight people eight which of six were Asians? Let's not even go to race right now, but eight people. From one, I'll put his picture here. Look at him looking like yesterday's food that nobody wants to touch. Look at him looking like somebody that just woke up and decided to do oh, touch. See, like I said, I'm not here to vent. So anyhow, this video just... Anyhow, I express myself, let's just take it out way. And we're all grown up here, so there are some things that I will say that might or might not sound shocking, okay? So, okay, back to what I was saying. The fact that somebody that was created by God would wake up in the morning and decide, you know what, today is a good day to kill somebody just so you could be famous why not start the youtube channel like we're all trying to do we're not all going to blow up in a day or at least start something or you start a business something anything i don't know how this man here decided to just to just wake up and kill people that he doesn't even know he doesn't even know them he doesn't know if they have families doesn't even know if they have friends. I'm sure like most Americans do, they cut off from their families once they turn 18. Some of them still stay with their families, some of them still connect with their families. But I'm sure some of these women were married people, some of them were people that were going to get married, relationships, something, anything. And you just wake up in the morning and then you go and kill. And then just so everything could be cleared down, Somebody in authority, somebody that wears a uniform will come out and say he had a bad day. Show you how we're in here. Is your head okay? Are you correct? Is your brain working fine? I'm asking you a question. I don't know if YouTube is going to take this video down. That's not my problem. It's not really. Because it's already annoying. Why? You come outside and you see a murderer and you just open your big mouth and you say he has had a bad day. Are you out of your mind? Maybe it's you that sent him to kill that, those people. If somebody was having a bad day like most people do, some people sleep when they have a bad day. Some people cry about it. Some people have like crazy sex if they're having a bad day. Some people just want to punish somebody. If they're kind of, if they're into dominatrix is like i can't even find the words to call it and this idiot right here just decided to wake up and start killing people for no reason i'm i'm so angry there's so many words that are going to come out of my mouth that so many people are not going to like that's why my channel is not meant for children but seriously it's so pissy it's so annoying it is revolting that you just decide to wake up in the morning and then just shoot people for no reason and then your main targets are a particular race it's just like he decided you know what i'm going to kill asian people today but maybe i'll just kill two americans so it will look like i'm not trying to do a racial thing if you wanted to kill maybe you have, why not just kill since you're killing eight people half of them maybe you just add one person to make it like a complete round of half are asian and half are white so you just okay so they won't call it a racial thing but it is a racial thing because you killed six six women if you if you were having a bad day and you don't have a girlfriend with this kind of face i don't think you will have a girlfriend or if you have a girlfriend you might be one of those crackheads you might be one of those crackheads that you be like Bleh. 
I would want to kill somebody. I should be like, all right, babe, no problem. <laughs> Just make sure you come back home early, okay? <laughs> yeah, both of you, crackheads. See, I'm vexed. I'm angry. I can't even tell you guys to subscribe at this point because this video might not make a lot of sense to so many people. But I have a platform. And I just felt like talking about it. This police brutality, this racism, this rubbish, this nonsense that you people are calling white supremacy. The day God will punish you, the day he will come for you, you're gonna be you're gonna be surprised. You're gonna be shocked at the massive oh see. We are all different. There is my skin color. My sister is darker than I am. So because my sister is darker than I am, I should hate her. My brother is much more fairer than I am if there's a word that way. So because he is, okay, let's use the word lighter. Because he is lighter than I am, he should hate me. My brothers are lighter than I am. I am lighter than my sister. My mom is lighter than all of us. So she should hate us. So we should hate people that don't look like us. Is that what you're saying? Is that the message you're spreading to even the children that are just growing? Racism. My race is higher. Of course. Fine. At that time, people did not know what mirror was. And that's how they got slaves. People did not know what so many things were. And you use it to get them. Slavery happened a long time ago. There is nothing like white supremacy. You guys did not create us. You did not give birth to us. You came into the countries of people and took them. You bought some of them. You took some of them as slaves. And they have ended up in the same country that you are in. Some of you people that are shouting white supremacy, you guys are not even Americans. You guys are not Americans at all. So I do not understand. I'm trying to wrap my head around the fact that you just wake up one morning and you feel your race is higher. So much of the technologies that you people use, you people, because I'm going to put it that way, so much of the technology that you use, black people invented. But no, it's going to go to a white person because the white person was there first, you know. We have to give that person respect. Just like the Grammys. If you thought I wasn't going to talk about it, <laughs> you lie. I'm going to talk about it. I love Lady Gaga. Everybody loves Lady Gaga. Her song is good. But how will you open your eyes and see a chat as clear as day? A chat as clear as day. And you decide for no just reason to give it to a white person. I'm, I don't. If I'm, I don't know if I'm making sense, you guys. Just leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about all this anger that I have just vomited here. Look, at the end of the day, we are human. At the end of the day, we deserve respect. At the end of the day, we deserve sorry from all this nonsense that has been happening at the end of the day we built America you did that, America doesn't even belong to you you focus on that too but what is your problem if you hate yourself so much that you want to be arrested kill yourself It's very easy. I'm sorry, Lord, please forgive me, but kill yourself and then get arrested in heaven. You, 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 trust me, you're going to the other side. You don't even know. If you feel today is a good day to die and your brain tells you you should take some people with you, you're not Pharaoh. You do not own gold. That was even in the past. I'm, I'm sure that the Egyptians understand what I'm saying. 
You are not Pharaoh. You are not even a king. You are just a dusty ass human being that needs to respect itself. If you have a gun in your house and you feel, I want to kill my, just shoot yourself. Let everybody rest. Musonfini, you guys. Doom. Oh, you guys, please. Tell me what you think about all this rubbish that is happening in this world. And in case you have not heard about the shootings, I urge you to go on Google. Everybody has like browsers on their phone. Go and check it out. It is brutal. It is annoying. It is irritating. It's just enough is enough. And I'm going to end this with this. All life matters black lives asian lives any life matters white lives matters too but then if you take it too far darling your life is not going to matter as much as the next person if you're going to start calling black or calling calls on um, black people hello there's a black man outside my house or you just shoot somebody because he's black or because you wear a uniform and you feel for some reason that you can take laws into your hand. Let's bet. When you go to a higher place, when you leave this body, like my friend would say, almost oh, his name again, he's always living six, 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 on his video, on his videos. Like my friend would say, this body, huh? Enjoy it while you can. Because when you do leave it, when you leave your body, when you leave this world, nobody, see, all this cops that are helping you that are your friends and you're feeling safe because you have cops around you have people around and white and nothing can happen when you leave your body nobody knows where you're going to but when you get there you'll be wishing you did things right that's what i'm going to say i'm ending this video here you guys like subscribe this is not usually what i say or like i just felt like i have a platform anyhow i say i'm just saying don't kill people please and you guys have fun love yourself if you don't have money for a therapist you could talk to somebody people are therapists in disguise you never know uh, have a beautiful day and let's just observe one minute of silence for the dead